you're welcome to my channel where we want to solve this problem in geometric construction and the problem goes like this it says draw a regular heptagon with sides 38 millimeter long first of all you want to ask yourself what is an heptagon an heptagon is a polygon that has seven lines so when it's a regular heptagon it will be seven equal line so in this case is the regular heptagon now the first thing you do like i always tell you you draw your horizontal line this way on that line pick a point let's say this is point a right and it says the line is 38 millimeters, so it means that AB is 38. So I'm going to take my meter rule and I'll measure this 38 here, and that will be B. And I'm going to thicken it AB, but first of all, before I thicken it, I'll leave it as a front line first. So AB is what is 38. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my set square the one of 45 degree which is this right I'll be moving it on my T square this way so I'm going to move it to point A this point A here I'll draw a line and I'll move it to point B also I'll draw another line so where they meet, this is 45, I'll call that point, point 0.4, right? Now the same thing, I'll come again, I'll take my 60 degree set square, I'm going to move it to B, and I'll draw this. I'll turn it the other way around, also, I'll move it to A, this A here, and I'm going to draw this, right? That point where they meet will be my point six from the word sixty. I'll use six from the word forty-five. I'll use four. Now at that point, I'm going to draw a line that will pass through those two points. This way, a line that will pass through those two points, like this. I'm going to draw a vertical line. You can see that. Now, in between 4 and 6 lies 5. So, for me to get 5, I need to bisect 4 and 6. And uh, if you want to know how to bisect two given points, just click on this link at the top right corner here and you will understand what it takes to divide two lines. But before then, if I place my compass from here to here, right? From this point to this point, here to here, I'm going to draw an arc at the left hand side and I'll draw an arc at the right hand side. I'll take it to point 6, I'll draw an arc at the left hand side to bisect, and arc at the right hand side to also bisect. So those two points, I'll call it point what? C and D. So I'm going to join C and D together so I can get my point 5. So this is D, what? This is C to get my point 5. So where they meet is giving us what? Point 5. Right? Now I need 7. Right? So if I place my compass in between 4 and 5, or in between 5 and 6, I'll be getting 7, 8 with the radius, 9, and so on and so forth, 10, right? So this is 6, this is 7, this is 8, this is 9, and this is 10. Now you'll be surprised, we're told we should draw an heptagon which is 7 sides. So what I just need here is 7. As we were told to draw an octagon with side 8. 
octagon that has each side, I'll go to point eight. If I told to draw nonagon, I'll come to point nine and so on. How what do I mean by saying come to point eight, point nine? All these points you're seeing is the center of the circle that you want to draw, in which the polygon is inscribed in it, right? So I want heptagon, which the equation suggests. So I'll place my compass at that point seven, right? And I'll take it to point A. So from that point A, I'll now draw my circle. So it means that, that my point seven is the center of what? Of the circle. Right? So you place your compass in between point A, B, this way, right? And you start marking this is A, B, the next point will be what? C, right? From point C, you get D. From point D, you get E, right? The same measurement. So this is A, B, this is C, this is D, and this is what? E, right? So from E, I'll mark, this will be F, from F, I'll mark again, this will be G, and back to what, to A. So we're having A, B, C, D, E, F. I mean, A, B, C, D, E, F, A will be what, G. So all those points we have, I'm going to take my um, instrument, and I'll take in them. So first of all, the first point here, is a b the next one here b c the next one here c d the next one here E D, the next one here. E F, the next one here. F G, then back to A. So this is the heptagon that we have because a b one side b c two side c d three side d e four sides f f um e f five side f g six and g back to a seven side so these are the seven sides that we have that is by the way this is what we're asked to do now sometimes we may be told to draw octagon no gone and decagon using the same base, right? So that's another way the equation can come again. Using the same base, construct heptagon, octagon, and what? No nagon. So you use the same base. Don't forget, I told you each of all these points you see is the center of the circle. So if I want to draw octagon, I'm going to place my compass at eight here, right? And I'll come to point A. Right? I'll come to point A. And I'm going to draw a circle. You can see that? Now, I will not take the radius of what? Of A, B, which is the same A, C, because they are equal 38. And I'll mark. This is point 0.1. Point two and what and three, right? Let me call it. This is A B. Here we go. C prime, D prime, E prime, right? I'll come from that point again. I'll mark. Here will be F prime, right? I'll come here again and I'll mark. Here will be G prime, 
then I'll come from here also. I'm going to mark. Then here will be what? H prime. Then back to this. You can see. I place it on this point. I'll get back to this here. So that is what we have. I will not join them using my rule. I'll join this point because it is octagon. So this method is also called the general method of constructing polygon because it can construct as many polygons as you can predict. So this is octagon here. Now this is what we have, octagon. And we may be told also to construct um, an hexagon, or better still, a nonagon. So what I'll do is, if I want to construct a nonagon, I'll also place it at 9, or this point mark the center of my circle, and I'll take it to point A. Right? Then I'll draw another circle. So with the radius A, B, or B, C, any of them of the choice, I'll start marking. So this will be 1. So I'll call it to be my C prime prime. Right? I'll come again from that point. 2, which I'll call my D prime prime. Right? It is 3, continue. Four, right? So D prime prime, E prime prime, F prime prime, right? I can come from here again and mark around if I want to. You mark this. You mark this. You mark this. Then back to this. You can see that. Sorry, and back to that. So at this point, they're meeting at the center point here. Which is my f prime prime so i'll join them together so from here this is one two three four this one is five Six, seven, eight, nine. Can I see that? That is nine-sided polygon. It is a nonagon. So if I want ten, I'll place that ten here this way. I'm going to put my compass at point A. And I'm going to draw the circle this way. So this point will be my center. You can see that. I will do that for that. Then if I want it to be for 6, I'll place that point C. Take it at A. This way. To get my point 6. So with the same measurement, saying that probably A, C. All good. A, C, or A, B, I'll place it, I'll mark this, and this, and this, back to this, to give us our seat, a hexagon. So this is the hexagon that we have here, six-sided um, what we have here. Now the next one that we'll be having again 
we can continue working like that and like that and like that and if i want my square for my pentagon i can still use the same thing here and control the pentagon so it continues that way so if um, you're done with that you draw out your lettering to show them what you've just done here as i've in my previous video so i'll be having this so this is what we have here if you want to know how to do this you can click at the top right corner of the screen to tell you how to letter this so if you have um, found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and like share thanks for watching